Happy Thursday, everybody. This is a pick a card reading for today, April 21st. Thursday, you pick a card, your main energy, but I pull the cards together for all of us. And if you're born April 21st, we will do your reading next. If you pick card number one, okay, so you have the Five of Cups. Well, but I do feel for some of you, just don't push things along. Maybe something that you want to get done or you've been waiting for, it's you just going to have to go with the flow and let things just move along and further develop, okay? So it's like stay positive because there is more further development here. Maybe you just see it's um trying to, it's a... I want to say that someone out there may have this perfectionist type of mentality with what's um, what's with, with, ugh, with what's happening. So it's like slow it down, okay? Um, it's perfect the way it is right now is what I'm picking up as well. So it's like maybe it's just a day where you're just feeling a little negative. But talks are going to be important too, all right? So I do feel that kind of energy. Card number two, you have the ace of swords wow i'm picking up this is destiny it's destined to happen okay there's victory here something maybe a news will come in that you were not expecting could be a surprise something is said or a message and this is um it's going to bring you a lot of happiness you're going to be very happy um, this could be for a collective, like for the family, home, but I do feel that that is um, destined to happen, and it's powerful. It's a victory. It's news. It's happiness, and there's a lot of help around you, too, okay? Very helpful giving energy is what I'm picking up. Card number three is the High Priestess. This is an important date for you. This is a major arcana, okay? For some of you, you may be feeling that you're alone, you want to be alone. Um, I want to say if you isolate yourself a little bit, you may act and be patient. The answers will come to you through your intuition. There's a sense of renewal and relief, a new uh, beginning. So I do feel that just patience is important. Follow your intuition. All right, so Five of Cups, Ace of swords and the high priestess i do feel today that communications are very important um there is happiness here today okay so this is good communications are important happiness is there so communicating is really showing up here um new beginning you could be sensing this as well and patience is important um, I do feel there's a very helpful person around, loving energy, talks are in, uh, counsel or advice is showing up too. Something heavy on our minds that um, we may be still waiting on or we've been waiting on something, we finally get an answer, okay? There is rebirth here. I do feel underlining energy of a celebration, happiness, and this is going to be able to release some energies. We're letting go of something. And the completion is coming. It's releasing it, just letting go with the, with the, just going with the flow. There's some lessons we've learned and we're applying them here too. Can't be dealing with a Virgo energy as well as I'm picking up here. Now, I do feel the energies, it's like something in your life that's been going on for a while. You may finally um, feel that energy is disappearing, something that's been negative, okay? So it's dissipating. All right, it's just a little bit of chaotic energy, and I do feel that there can be something important like a, an agreement, um, signing some kind of um, contract, um, legal papers. I don't know. I do see that energy as well. I also feel some secrets may come out, okay? And this way you'll be able to make some kind of goal commitment. I don't know. There is something there. Um, things are going to fall into place. Something you're seeking answers to, let your intuition um um, guide you. Okay. All right. I hope you have a wonderful Thursday. Happy birthday. If you're born today, April 21st, this is a quick and general reading your wish cards here. And this is your solar theme. You have a major arcana of the lover's card. For some of you, 
there is a focus on love, okay? So we do see that. For some of you, this could be break it or make it. Could be going through a divorce. Um, there could be some legalities here. You will recover very well. There could be recovering a relationship, okay? That kind of got to the point where you didn't know what you were going to do. Um, some of you may be dealing with some litigations. These could be contracts for money um, with a company as well. So I do feel that you'll get what you deserve and things will restore your balance. You will recover either way is what I'm feeling here, okay? Um, just make sure it's a realistic goal as well. All right, so I do feel that energy. Um, there is a bittersweet tinge to this as well, okay? Um, I do feel some of you, you may be traveling, traveling for work or because of love, okay? And I do feel that maybe this there should be, they, they could be a relocation or a sig significant travel, but there can be um, some confusion, okay? Not knowing which way to go, what to do is what I'm feeling. Um, I do see a new beginning with finances and gain and some kind of significant offer, um, there is enlightenment coming through, and this is something to do with money as well, money-making ideas, okay? There will be maybe a change of direction with work, career, and home. You may be even changing residence, so I do see that. Um, for some of you, you, may start some kind of business, home business as well. Um, if you get rejected, there's a sense of um, touch and go with finances or loans or expenses there is a sense of rejection but you keep if you keep persevering it will build and there it will con it will continue to grow um you'll get like a yes or a star, uh, new startup is what i'm picking up um slow building energy this is saving money this year this is something very stable as well with relationships and with um finances as well your perception is very important this um solar year too how you perceive things go with the flow and changes that may be occurring as well because I do feel that energy, okay? Um, there is a strong healing energy in some area in your life. Uh, big focus on love. For some of you, finding true love or your relationship will be intense, some, some relationships. There are things you have to think over and um, be slow. Don't make, make uh, major decisions with money and with love this year. I do feel somebody from the past is going to come through. There will be a reunion with someone. And overall, with slow and steady and patience, you have luck and abundance on your side. Okay? Your wish for your solar year is the sun card, another major arcana. You have a significant year. What I'm picking up here, um, it's a yes answer. There's opportunities out there. But the important thing is if you're feeling victimized or things were not uh, fair for you, take back your power. Taking back your power will make this wish come true. Um, action also. Messages are important. Uh, travel journey is showing up here too. So I do see that energy and it's like, yes, it's good energy. Okay. Taking back your power too. The important numbers for your solar year. 19, 21, 8, 88, 9, 1, 6, 66, um, 12, and 39. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a blessed solar year ahead of beyond. Everyone else, a wonderful Thursday, and bye for now.